I've practiced architecture for about 30 years and uh, retired about three and a half years ago and I'm doing this full time now and loving it. Loved architecture, but big difference, real big difference. Architecture was my passion for a very long time. I am finding this feeds another part of my spirit. Uh, like I said, being more intimate about each individual piece and being able to hand mold it and carve it and color it to me is uh, very personal. Um, and I like that part of it versus architecture. I worked with people and trying to create pieces in architecture that made people happy. I kind of just make myself happy with this. It's just very personal. I look at my artwork and my artwork is, it's compounded by my experiences as an architect. There's a whole series over there that's very architectonic. It, it's, it's form, it's shape, it's color, it's texture, it's pattern, it's rhythm. It's all lessons learned from architecture and I couldn't do that if I hadn't been an architect at one point in time. So it's, it builds, it builds, and then you move on. It's a different path. This is an example of what I think is the one part of my brain that's more architecturally oriented. It's more orthogonal. It is more thought out. It has materials that have to be connected. And then another side of my brain, which maybe didn't get the opportunity as much in architecture is I really love and respect nature and this series allows me to be more organic and I use found objects for my inspiration. Um, this series is called Windows to the Earth and the whole form is, is clay but what's interesting is in every portal is another little collage that is found objects, um, you know, pods and rocks and crystals, uh, glass beads, feathers, um, interesting shells. I met an artist uh, three and a half years ago. Um, he was in a show in North Carolina and I, and I loved his vessels. And so we, and he liked uh, my wall work. So we decided to try and work together. His name is Myron Whitaker and he'll throw the vessels and we'll work together on to collaborate the way the piece is finished uh, and the way that it's like the finishing of the, the process as far as the painting and the embellishments and I do the woodworking for the knobs and we select the agates together. So working with other people has been a real good opportunity for me to expand my horizons even further. I could never have done something like this on my own. I feel like I'm at camp here. I'm outdoors, I love being outdoors. The sun has shone every single day I've been here. I get to be with creative people that have their own materiality, that have their own media, and I'm learning about that. I'm going to be doing a small casting, I hope, while I'm here. I'm learning about glass, so I'm expanding my horizons and my education here. I've never dealt with clients before. All of my work is in galleries, so I'm getting the opportunity to get feedback from the clients about what they love about the work, and it actually is allowing me to do a better job. I'm learning, I'm really learning, and the people here are fantastic.